Hello, this is Rai Snow. So last time I explained how to play sound effect. So we created this program. When you click this button, then you can hear sound effect. You can play sound effect. Mm. Yeah, so this is the program we've written. And this time I'm going to explain how to play not sound effect, but the music file. And it's quite similar to this sound effect, but the just a li little different. So let me explain about it. So let's start. So last time we created this sound effect class. So this time we're gonna make another class, uh, public class. And uh, so this time I'm gonna name this as music. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's basically it's almost same. I actually we can copy and paste this. So okay. Hmm. Yeah, this clip and the set the file and the play, everything is same. But uh, we need to add two more methods for this music class. And so one is public void and uh, loop and uh, inside of this clip loop uh, clip dot loop yeah this one continuously hmm. okay and another method here public void and uh, this time stop and here clip stop and one more line clip close okay yeah and and this is done so music class is done mm. so we added this loop method and uh, this stop method so why do we need these two methods uh, i'm gonna explain a bit later mm. and uh, let's make another button like uh, last time we created this sound effect button so let's make uh, one more button called like a music button yeah okay here ah no uh, first j button and uh, like a music button and uh, here <coughs> music bottom equal new j bottom and uh, okay music mm. music bottom set focus painted false music bottom and uh, set action with na and uh, also be handler hmm? ah sorry add action list i'm sorry okay hmm. and uh, let's add this button to this bottom panel add uh, music button hmm. okay let's check hmm. okay and we we got uh, another button here music and uh, but uh, you know when you click this and you can hear the sound effect same sound effect is this one so but uh, we want to play different thing in this case music so yeah let's do this and first uh like uh, again we need to prepare a music file to play so i prepared this file my music mm. so like this one so this is like a guitar ambient music so we're gonna use use this as a like a bgm for the game and uh yeah so and uh yeah i I, I made this myself so you know I playing this guitar myself so uh, yeah so you know 
I don't have to worry about like a copywriting stuff. So you know, because this is my song. So yeah, just like before. So we're gonna put this my music file into this resource folder and the copy files. So and uh, okay, and uh, let's make another string and name this. Mm, Okay, actually I made this song as a like a with an image of Tavan, so let's name this as a Tavan music. Hmm. And so we're gonna use this Tavan music and just like before that less and uh, what is it? My music and wav. Hmm. Now we can set this Tavan music to like here set file hmm. and uh, also now we have like two buttons but now result is same so this time as well we need to add action command to each these buttons so the program can recognize you know which button uh, was clicked so first uh, let's add action command to this sound button sound bot button uh, no, set action command and uh, mm, like a sound b or something hmm. and for this music button music button set action command and uh, like a music b hmm. Okay, and here, so just like we did before for the adventure string and uh, mm, like a clicked button equal event get action command. Mm. Okay, and the switch. Bottom, and uh, so now we can like so case sound B. So this means if sound button was clicked, then result is like here. So the result is this one. Hmm. So let's cut this and paste here. So this is the result. Okay, break. And let's make another case. And uh, this time, music B. Hmm. And so, okay. Ah, wait a minute. Before I do that, uh, let me. Uh, what was it? Music, music class. Hmm. Music. Okay, like uh, M U. Hmm equal new music okay so just like we did for this sound effect so we're gonna use this mu here mu dot set file and uh, this time not click sound but uh, we're gonna we wanna play this taba music so taba music here Hmm. Set and also mu dot uh, no play. Hmm. So this means uh, yes, this set file means music class and the set file, and it's gonna receive this string, and this string means this time taba music. Basically, the same as uh, this sound effect. Okay, uh, let's check this program. So let's click this button. Okay. So you can hear music. And the sound effect as well. But I think uh, this program, yeah, yeah, you can hear the music, but the, this program is not com not completed yet. Because if you click this again, then music started again. But uh, the previous music is it's also you know still going on and so yeah as 
you click this button and then another music starts and starts and starts and so this is really not good, right? So yeah. So what are we gonna do is I think so it would be nice if you click this the music starts and uh, if you click this again the music stop like uh, on and off so that way you will not hear like a uh, multiple songs uh, being played at the same time but uh, you can only hear one music at a time so let's arrange this program a little bit so to do that uh, first I'm gonna make a string hmm, here and uh, name this as a music on off or something and so we're gonna use this and let the program know the music is currently on or off so yeah let me show you an example and first mm, like around here music on off so default is mm, off so when you start the program the music is off and uh, then inside of this music b case music b so i'm gonna use a if statement here so if music on off dot equals and uh, first off so if music is off okay let's copy this inside of here hmm. so if you know music is off then let's play this music and uh, also let's change content of this string as a uh, on because now music is on so and also and else if music on off equals uh, this time on mm. uh, equals mm. okay and so here uh, mu and this time uh, you're gonna type stop so this stop is this one so finally yeah we're gonna use this one this new one new method i think you can guess but uh, yeah basically this method is gonna stop the music mm, and close it and uh, music on off uh, off because music is now off so yeah so basically this means uh, when you click this music button music button when the music is off then this is the result it's gonna play this music and if you click this when the music is already on then this is the result it's gonna stop the music and the, to make it easier to understand I, I think I'm gonna add one more line here in this case the music is on so let's like uh, change this button title like uh, yeah music button set text and uh, like a music on and here music button set text and here music off hmm and uh, yeah I think it's done so let's check and so now if you click this music oh <laughs> button moved a little bit but uh, yeah it's okay and so yeah now it says music on and uh, if you click this again so music is off and if you click this again music on on off on and you can click this sound effect as well one more thing 
yeah, we used this method play and uh, stop, but uh, what is this loop method then? We haven't used this, right? But so, this is for like a music file, and so maybe you can guess, but uh, this makes, you know, the music looping. So, once the music is done, but it starts again. Mm. So, like, uh, if you want to repeat the music, then uh, you can use this loop. So, and in this case, you can type here after this play method. So, mu dot, so, loop. Yeah, so now, music just stopped because, you know, we haven't typed this loop method yet. But if you type loop here, then you can repeat this music. So, yeah, music on and uh, yeah, so now we can display images and also we can play sound effect and also we can play music as well. So, mm. yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Mm. So maybe I'm gonna make uh, another video and uh, how to and uh, I'm gonna try to implement these sounds to the adventure that uh, the game we created. Mm. But um, I don't know, maybe it will be nothing new. Mm. So I think you already know how to do it. So maybe it's not necessary. Mm. But let's see. Mm. So anyway, uh, that's everything about uh, sound and the music, uh, sound effect and the music tutorial. And so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And see you again. Bye.